Today is April 28, 209 p.m. We detected unusual option activity on Pet Med Express. That is P E T S, pets for the ticker. And you'll notice here uh, at the beginning of the year, um, this stock has been going up until earnings. And once earnings hit, it started a downtrend. And so uh, we are also approaching earnings on May 8th. And uh, yesterday we had a bottom at $15. So um, keep all of this in mind as we get right to the options. So uh, for today's option statistics, you'll see here that lots of calls uh, in comparison to puts, only 10 puts for this volume today. So keep that also in mind. And so as we look at the unusual options um, here, you'll see lots of these May 19 uh, trades. Um, we did something different. You may see um, a lot of this and maybe you think this is a lot of call buying at the 17.5 strikes, also this June. Um, but we'll, we'll talk about the trade that we did instead based on this activity. Um, there was uh, um, quite a bit on the uh, maze you'll see here. You'll see the 17.5 strikes, um, all the way here, 11,000 of them, right? And so that's a uh, very um, high. Um, however, um, a lot of these, this volume here, um, including the Junes here, 4,000 of them, right? Also, they're all greater than the open interest. They could be um, opening orders. However, they could also be day trades. And so we have to monitor a lot of this um, data before we can be very bullish about this and assume that they had just bought a call, right? Um, because you'll notice here that a lot of these um, trades that were placed are all at different time periods. Um, so these could be day trades or, or um, just lots of algo trading going on. So this is not necessarily um, very bullishness um, because if we look also at the charts, 17.5 um, is actually all the way up here. So um, this is one of the um, support resistance levels at this part uh, at this level here because it was consolidating around this um, price range we also have another consolidation range around this area too um, that we would first have to also break which is here at 16.5 and since today it did not break $16 you'll see here it had rallied to $16 I believe um, right about here you'll see here the $16 didn't quite make it, and then it came back down. Um, and so now we're at 15.5. Um, of course, anything could happen during earnings, right? And since earnings is, um, this is about uh, um, maybe a week away, then um, we still have some time. And that's why we want to monitor this data and be sure that these were very bullish um, calls. Um, instead of thinking like that this was buying the 17.5 calls and thinking maybe it could be this, right? It could be a, a bullish call of buying the 17.5 where the break even is actually over here where it has to break 17.7 by expiration. Um, so the theta here is at negative one. So keep that in mind. Um, we are going to monitor this as we approach earnings and take a little bit more of a cautious approach to see what this uh, all this um, call buying or selling today um, could mean so what we did instead for our trade was we sold the 15 um, strike calls you'll see our position here and then we bought the 17.5 so what that does is we, we sold a call spread. And so we when we sell this, um, we collected a, let's turn that call off. 
we collected a credit for $92. You'll see here that uh, it is a sort of a short position um, where if the price goes down, it profits from this 15.5. However, what we then did was also taking that 92 credit and we bought two of these 17.5 calls. This is our position here. So we got um, two of these. And so what that then ends up doing is we're using the, the, the call spread to finance this. And so this is the trade. Um, what it looks like is if, if pets stock drops, we are not going to be at a loss. You'll see here the we'll actually be at a gain. So we, we've um, reduced our risk in case the earnings is a surprise to the downside. Um, and so we're, or, or um, uh, if it starts to turn the other way, uh, right before earnings, we will minimize our risk um, because there's a lot of risk if you were to just buy the call um, straight out, um, you'll start decaying and you could lose the val entire value of that. Maybe even before earnings, we, we don't know. Um, but we want, want to take a more cautious and re re risk reduction approach. And so this is our way of doing it. Um, it still profits as the price rallies. And you'll see here it is also going to be profitable if it goes up. And we may even, if we start seeing that this is headed towards the upside, uh, we may just close our call spread. Um, and so then it would uh, increase our profits uh, as it goes up once we start to close off and buy back our call spread. The Greeks on this is, you'll see here, it is still a positive delta. And also, the um, it's a slight negative theta. However, once if, it, if the stock goes down, then the theta becomes positive. And so we're going to uh, monitor this to make sure um, that this was an actual very bullish call on pets, something like this. If we look at the data um, um, on a more of a daily basis as we approach earnings, we can then make a better decision. So make sure you are subscribed and you have that bell icon so we can update everyone if uh, anything changes. Um, especially with a lot of this, a lot of the data here, um, if the volume and the open interest starts to change, or the in the maze, we can start to see what is going on with these trades. Uh, what exactly is going on? Because um, typically, when uh, large institutions put on trades, um, they do it in larger quantities and all at once, not um, like in very different uh, time periods. So we want to be a little careful on this. We do find it unusual that the 17.5 strike is being targeted on both expiration dates. So this is very unusual. We want to um, watch this stock, uh, see what it does, uh, see if it has actually bottomed at $15. And now we are swinging to the upside now. So. Um, hopefully this was helpful and you learned something. If you did, please smash that like button.